when that bin is full, our local hosts give us a call to say, hey, it's full, can you sign us up for service? Within 24 hours, Deaf and Bob will go pick up the bin, deliver it to our clinic. We scoop up the glass um, and fill up our hopper about every hour. And then the hopper slowly distributes glass onto the conveyor belt bin that brings it into our plant. As it works its way through the plant, a metal will remove neck rings and lids, a vacuum will pull off light waste, and then working through the plant, an optical sorter will identify things that are not glass. So an optical sorter shines a beam of light. If it goes through the glass, obviously it's translucent and it's glass. If it hits a beam, if it hits something that does not is not translucent, it's ceramic or it's raw and is basically knocked off the conveyor belt. And uh, we go through this process several times to remove everything that's not glass. We clean it, we crush it until it looks like a very coarse yet sharp sand. And then that's our end product. It's called a tree mix furnace ready pole. So the raw materials we have for our process, like the basic things to make glass, like sand and those type of things, are, are kept separately and in different silos like you might see in, in some of the farm industry and so forth. And then when we get ready to make our fiberglass products, we call for the right amounts of each ingredient, of which one is the ripple glass. Furnaces basically melt um, all the ingredients to make glass. Um, you're talking about temperatures of around you know, 2,000 degrees at times. And uh, the molten glass um, basically comes out of the furnace into a channel and then uh, it comes in at a certain uh, viscosity and temperature and and uh, it comes into our process and, you know there's not uh, bottles of glass from from beer drinkers going into the landfill instead it's being used again in our case uh, here in our process to make fiberglass so it keeps it out of the landfill it also then helps us make our product at a lower energy cost and a lower energy usage which is good for the environment less co2 emissions those type of things and uh, you know everybody really wins <music>